Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done a sewing journey video, so I thought it would be a good time to hop on here and talk a little bit about where I'm at with my sewing. Um, I am still making garments, although not at the prolific rate that I was, simply because my closets are getting full. And I did notice my closets were getting full, and so it was time to do a clean out. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I think sometimes people get worried about is they're like, well, I made this outfit or I made this dress or I made this whatever and I shouldn't get rid of it because, well, that's not true. If you don't like the style, if it was a, a style you thought you liked and it didn't quite turn out the way that you wanted, or if it's a style that you have decided you don't like to wear, or you just don't care for the fabric or it doesn't fit quite right. If you had bought that item at a store and you'd be willing to let it go, you should extend that same attitude to the clothes that you make. Now, you, you have options, obviously. You can rework them. You can maybe alter them some, or you can, um, I've taken dresses that I used to have that were handmade, and because they don't fit up top anymore, um, I've cut the way I've cut the bodice off and made skirts out of them because they fit just fine as skirts. Um, so that's an option. There's different ways to retool the clothes, but don't feel like you have to hang on to something simply because you made it. Um, you know, I got rid of some clothes that I had made because even though I liked the fabric and I liked the style of the dress, I didn't like the two of them together, if that makes sense. Um, or I just did not like the way they looked. I just was not happy with how I had constructed them. And, you know, so I got rid of them. One thing that I have learned, I don't like to make t-shirts. I don't. I made several. And the ones that I made on the lighter weight knit, I just had real difficult time with that knit crawling and moving while I was trying to sew with it. And so I got very frustrated with it and decided that that is something that I will spend the money on a t-shirt. <laughs> um, you know, so, I mean, that was something, you know, that I made the decision to get rid of, you know, two or three of those handmade t-shirts. I also had made several pairs of leggings. Some of them I made out of, th this is one downfall of ordering fabric online, is you can't feel it. Um, you can't get a feel for the texture of it, and you can't get a feel for the weight of it very easily. I'm sure there are some people who have a better handle on that than I do. Um, but I made some leggings, and I hated them. I wore them a couple of times, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I just did not like how they felt. I did not like the fabric, how they felt. So those went away. Now, there might be somebody else that likes them perfectly just fine. But um, I was, it was, they had to go. <laughs> so... <clears throat> One of the things that I wanted to say while I was on here tonight is to, you know, don't feel like you owe that garment anything. You know, you know, it's, it's, pass it on, you know, donate it. Maybe someone else would like it just fine. If you have a clothes closet, like at the university where I work, they have a clothes closet for people who are uh, going for job interviews. And if you have anything that's appropriate for that, you could always donate the clothes to that. Uh, so don't feel like you have to stick with something simply because you made it. Because your tastes change. I mean, my tastes have changed over the years. Um, and so, you know. And the other thing that I will say, and I got, and it was hard, but if you've got jeans, like for example, I had a pair of jeans that were a 20 inch, 28 inch waist. I will never be a 28 inch waist again in, in my whole living long life. You know, um, because I just won't. I'm not ever going to be that small again. So, I finally let them go, right? And so, you know, it's one of those things where it's sometimes... Now, I understand there's probably sometimes sentimental value attached to an article of clothing, and I get that. But if it's not something sentimental, then don't feel like it's an obligation to keep it, Okay? So, what am I working on right now? This is the Matcha Top by So Liberated. Um, I have made a couple of these already, but this is some deep stash fabric that I've had. It's just a cotton, but I really like the color of it, so I'm working on that right now. I'm, I'm fixing to 
apply the neck band <clears throat> and then um, hem it and it will be done. Um, I finished a dress. Let me see if I can reach it back here. I finished this dress. It's a butterick pattern. It's an older butterick pattern that my friend Sandy gave me, but it's just a simple, <coughs> excuse me, empire waisted dress. Uh, empire waisted dress with a, a little bit of a scoop neckline and um, short sleeves. And the fabric is called the Strawberry Steelers. And I got that from Joanne Fabrics. And I know I showed that on the podcast. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and give you some encouragement. You know, I put down garment sewing for quite a bit of time and hadn't made anything, but, you know, picked right back up. It's no big deal. And um, get out there and try something. You know, we were talking about making clothes the other day. And I said what my mother always said, get yourself some cheap fabric and an easy pattern. And if you mess it up, nobody dies. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll probably try to record a full length podcast maybe next weekend. Uh, Cause I have gotten a little bit of crafting done. Um, so I'd like to share that with you. And in the meantime, y'all know the drill, be good to each other, take care of each other, go get the new COVID booster in September and your flu shot and your pneumonia shot. If you can, because I care about y'all and I want y'all to stick around a while. So take care of yourself. Peace out. Bye.